So really important when you get on your surfboard, you want to make sure you're paddling in the right place on the board. Your board should be nice and flat in the water. A lot of surfers paddle like a freestyle stroke, kind of one arm at a time, reaching forward with your arm bent, going as deep as you can in the water, and then extending through the end of your stroke. Make sure to keep everything over the board. If your toes are dipping in the water, that's going to slow you down like you wouldn't imagine. What's really important as surfers are progressing or if a surfer is just learning is concentrating on your mechanics. A real difficult move for a lot of people is that transition called a pop-up where you go from your stomach up to your feet. Timing is really important. You want to catch the swell just before it crests. So just as the tail gets lifted by that swell, you need to arch your back just a little bit to compensate, to keep that nose up. And then when you feel you have the wave, you'll uh, lock your arms and you'll arch your back and you'll jump or spring up to a good surfing stance. You're always kind of looking where you want to go, but really important is your knees are bent, your uh, center's underneath you, your shoulders and hips are aligned, your hands are going to be up for balance. So once you've popped up to your feet, you've found your stance, you have to think about when to turn on the weight. Always start your turn nice and low in your crouch. A forehand turn, you're going to initiate the turn by leaning on your toes a little and setting your edge. And then once you do that, you'll kind of rotate and really try to throw your energy into the fins. Really important on your backside turn, your leading arm, your thumb is going to be up. And even with your front hand turn too, you can always be leading with your leading arm. You're going to be looking with your head and your leading arm where you want to go. You may find yourself out surfing and notice that there are certain people who are always in the right place at the right time. The wave will come and they'll just always be in the right spot. So if you do your homework a little bit, you may find yourself in that position. What you have to do is watch the ocean, try to pick a spot you want to go, and then as you paddle out, keep watching the surf, see where those waves are breaking, and sooner or later you're going to dial in exactly where to be when the wave comes. Now you're ready to tear it up. Have fun. <laughs>